Hi everyone, I'm Manjuri from Pilates. I'm a certified stock Pilates and Rehab Pilates instructor as well as a physiotherapist. Today's topic is Pilates for diastasis recti. Diastasis recti is the partial or complete separation of the rectus abdominis or six-pack muscle which meet at the midline of your stomach. Diastasis recta is very common during and following pregnancy. It can also affect newborn babies and men. In some cases, it can result from lifting heavy weights incorrectly or performing excessive or unsafe abdominal exercises. It is usual for an increase in the weight between the two halves of the muscle to occur in all postnatal women. The risk of a larger separation increases with a large baby, multiple births for those with a narrow pelvis, weak abdominal muscles, poor posture, and occasionally it may occur for no apparent reason. The most common symptoms of diastasis recti is a pouch or bulge in your stomach, especially when you strain or contract your abdominal muscle. Additional symptoms include low back pain, poor posture, constipation, and bloating. There is a simple way to see whether you have diastasis recti, which will be demonstrated later in this video. The do's and don'ts of diastasis recti. Avoid setups, avoid heavy physical work or straining, Avoid ballastic movements and aggressive rotations. Take care when getting in or out of bed and perform pelvic floor exercises as regularly as possible. Pilates exercises can help in addressing diastasis recti problem and assist in connecting the separation together. Stay tuned for the progressed exercises following previous video on this topic. If you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe and turn on the notification for more videos like this. If you have any questions, please comment below and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Feel free to reach out through WhatsApp number at the link below and schedule a complimentary consultation trial with us. Thank you and that's all from me. I'm passing over to Clarissa for the assessment and exercise session. Hi there, thank you for Manjari. I'm Clarissa from Pilatic Pilates and Physiotherapy Studio Malaysia, a certified stock Pilates instructor as well as a physiotherapist. In this video, we have included a simple assessment and some exercise to work on your diastasis recti at home. This video is a progression exercise for diastasis recti in previous video. Make sure that you follow the previous video before you continue with this video. Please take note to minimize the separation and to correct the diastasis recti, you should constantly engage your pelvic floor muscle while gently drawing or zipping your belly button towards the center. This imaginary view will help you to narrow your waistline with proper engagement. Assessment for diastasis recti Now lie down face up, make sure that your knees flex and feet flat on the ground Place two fingers horizontally just above your navel which is your belly button Fingers are pointing downward Lift your upper body up and feel for the gap between your fingers If the gap is two fingers wide, then you can perform the abdominal exercise as you keep doing the exercise, it may reduce to one finger gap or even completely closed. First exercise, leg pull from prep. This exercise will challenge over your core and your scapular stability. Starting position, go into your four point kneeling to start with. Make sure that your spine is neutral, legs together, tuck in your toes. Make sure that your hands align your shoulders and your knees align your hips. Now inhale to prepare when you exhale, engage your abdominal muscle and lift your knee off slightly. Continue with inhale and rest down your knees back to your starting position. Keep your spine in neutral throughout this exercise and constantly thinking of pushing your chest away from the mat to stabilize your scapula. From here, you should feel your abdominal muscles are working. Do it for 10 repetitions and 3 sets. You can also place your hand on a folded towel or a folded mat if you feel too much pressure on your wrist. Next exercise, hip rows which work on spinal articulations. 
Starting position, lying face up with knee flex. Keep your feet flat on the ground in hip distance apart. Place your heels close to your body. Keep your pelvis and spine in neutral and place your arms long by your side to start with. Now inhale to prepare. When you exhale, roll your pelvis and spine up towards the ceiling, thinking of peeling one vertebra each time and bring them into a long line from shoulders to knees. Inhale to stay, continue reaching your knees towards the front. When you exhale, imagine your spine is like a melted butter. Melt down from top and bring your spine and pelvis back to neutral. Make sure that your weight is only up until your shoulders, not over your neck. Engage your abdominal muscle by thinking of sliding your ribcage down and in. And engage your glutes muscle to create the long line in the shoulder bridge position. Make sure that your back is not arching and your knees are not collapsing in. If you feel too much over your lower back, you should engage your abdominal muscle more. Do this exercise for 10 repetitions and 3 sets. Next exercise, single leg stretch. This exercise works on abdominal muscle and challenge over pelvic stability. Go into your starting position. You can prop your head up with a folded towel to avoid tension over your neck. From here, place your arms long by your side, imprint your pelvis and bring your legs up into tabletop one by one. From here, inhale to stay. When you exhale, reach one leg out towards diagonally. Go as far as you can maintain your pelvis stability. Inhale, draw your legs in and exhale, begin to switch with alternate side. Make sure that your pelvis is not hiking or rotating. You should go with your own pace. Maintain your pelvis in imprint and you should feel your abdominal muscles are working. Do this exercise for 20 repetitions and 3 sets for alternate side. Single leg stretch with arm raises. This exercise challenge even more over abdominal muscle workload in longer liver position. Go into starting position of previous exercise single leg stretch. From here, stabilize your rib cage and reach your arms overhead as far as you can maintain your rib cage stabilization here. Inhale to stay. When you exhale, reach one leg out diagonally. Draw your leg in with inhale and when you exhale, begin to switch with alternate side. You should go with your own pace and go as far as you can maintain your pelvis stability. Slide your ribcage down and in to engage your abdominal muscle to stabilize your ribcage. You should feel your abdominal muscles are working. Do this exercise for 20 repetitions and 3 sets for alternate side. Half row back. This exercise will work on abdominal muscle strengthening. Starting position sitting with knee flex. Keep your feet flat on the ground in hip distance apart. Pelvis and spine in neutral. You can prop your body up with a folded towel to keep your pelvis square to the front. Reach your hands forward in shoulder level, palm face down. Inhale to stay. When you exhale, scoop your pelvis to roll back as far as stability can be maintained. Inhale, roll your body forward and back to your starting position. Make sure that your scapula is stabilized and your gaze follow the movement. Avoid jamming your chin towards your chest. Make sure that your knees are not collapsing in and you should feel your abdominal muscles are working here. Do this exercise for 10 repetitions and 3 sets. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video.